What is happening and welcome to the next episode of Four Wheel Drive Talk, episode of 41. Friends, we have some pretty cool stuff ahead of us here today. Now, one of the concerns that uh, you should have if you're overlanding with an EV truck and trailer is what? Range, right? What happens if you need to charge up your rig? Well, there's a solution that allows your truck and your trailer to charge one another. Now, we have details of that, and this thing looks pretty stinking cool. We're going to be talking about that here in a moment. Now, another news, the Ford Bronco gets some retro love from the Heritage Editions, now, which will be out in 2023, so just right around the corner, or the 2023 model, rather. And also, the Ford F-150 Lightning is getting some new goodies, but you're going to have to... You have to open up your wallet for these. And how much that's going to be? Well, we're going to be discussing that here in a moment as well. But first, friends, before we dive into this week's headlines, look, there's that whole YouTube algorithm that I'm, I'm actually pointing down. I hope on the video I'm... Yeah, hell, my look is probably over on the right-hand side here. But anyways, there's that YouTube algorithm that really digs it. And, of course, so do we. When you hit that like button, that's telling YouTube, and it's telling us that you really vibed with that particular video. And not only does YouTube then share this video with more people, but also it does help out the channel. So friends, if you end up hitting that like button, I'm going to thank you well in advance. That said, let's shift gears and get on to this week's headlines. Now, imagine for a moment that you're camping and you're towing your trailer with your EV truck. And once you get to camp, you plug your truck into your camper to charge this thing up. It is not a fantasy. You can actually do this with the Baulus Volterra. Now, this is a luxury trailer that isn't exactly something that you're going to be towing off out in the middle of nowhere in some off-road trails. But if you're the type of overlanding that likes to stick on pavement in well-established campgrounds, this rig could very well be for you. Now, the trailer is completely electric and gets power from a 480-watt solar panel system that's actually on the roof. Now, you can actually add two additional portable solar panels and get an additional 480 watts of power as well. So not only are the panels curved, if you look on the roof of this thing, that matches the trailer's curvy roof, but they also have feature technology that make these solar panels 12% more efficient than traditional solar panels. Now there's an MPPT solar controller that manages all the incoming power and directs it to the 17 kilowatt lithium iron phosphate battery bank. Now, if your tow vehicle happens to need a little juice and is low in power, the trailer can add up to 65 miles of range through a 20 amp outlet, but you can only use the EV truck to charge the trailer as you drive. Now, other goodies include heated floors, uh, hookups for Starlink internet, and night vision backup camera. Now, you do get 50 gallons of fresh water capacity, which is that's a lot of water. You also get 31 gallons of gray water capacity and an induction cooktop among many of the other amenities that this thing has. I mean, looking at this thing, this thing really looks quite badass. It reminds me of a streamline or, um, oh geez, now I'm drawing a blank with it. I'll put it on the screen here. But anyways, it's badass. Now here's the cool part with this. When I first took a look at this, I'm like, oh, this is this thing's easily over 5,000 pounds. But surprisingly, this thing is 32 or 3,250 pounds dry which is pretty stinking awesome. Now you may be saying, Alex, uh, well, uh, all fine and good, but how much is this thing? Well, this bad boy will set you back 310,000. So by no stretch of the imagination is this thing cheap, but hey, if you have the money, this could be a absolutely awesome on-road overlanding rig for your EV vehicle or for your EV truck rather. Now, if you wanna learn more about this trailer, I'm going to put a link down below in the description below. Now, one of the best features of the new Broncos is they have some of the 1960s Bronco vibe. Well, now the 2023 Heritage Edition kicks up the nostalgia just a little bit more. Now, these models are very retro. So as you can see in the images on the screen, the front grille uh, gets a white accent with either Ford or Bronco written across the front. Now, the standard Heritage Edition has 17-inch white wheels, while the limited Heritage Edition adds white covers or wheel covers for 
for a very interesting throwback look. Now, the Heritage Edition models also have the wide fenders and other amenities of the Sasquatch package. Now, on the inside, you'll find a white dash and some stitching on the upholstery that offers a really nice contrast. Now, the colors of the vehicles are meant to remind you of the original 60s Broncos as well. Now, there is a robin egg blue, you have the Yellowstone metallic, and you have the peak blue, among others. Now, production is supposed to begin this fall, but how well that goes really depends on a few things. One of the big things, of course, being supply chains. So really, I guess it's safe to say, don't expect to get well, one of these things anytime soon. If you hope to get one of these things, uh, I would you know, wake up super early, get your name on the list, get in front if you haven't already. Because again, you look at something like this and you look at how popular the Bronco is, there's going to be a ton of people looking to get their hands on one of these things. So uh, if you want to get more details of the newest Broncos, again, like before, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. Now the Ford F-150 Lightning is without a doubt one of the most popular EV trucks on the market. The popularity might rise even further with news of the range increasing among other improvements. Now the extended range, you know, let's be real here. It isn't much, it's 10 miles, but hey, an improvement, I mean, like this, I mean, 10 miles, that's a round trip to the grocery store. Well, at least around here. But that brings the total range up to 240 miles. Now, the Lightning also comes with Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, which is going to allow the truck to move itself into position when hooking up to a trailer. Now, there are two new paint colors as well. You have the Avalanche Gray, the Avalanche gray and you have the Azure Gray. Now, unfortunately, though, all of these new features come with a pretty sizable price jump here. Now, depending upon how you configure your F-150 Lightning, you'll pay between $6,000 and $8,500 more than the folks that have already placed their order for one of these things. Now, the price increases are across all trim levels as well. So for example, the base pro trim is up $7,000 to 48,769. The platinum edition range, which is the top trim level, has a price increase of nine, or excuse me, $98,669, which is an increase of $6,000. So if you want to check out the range of the Lightning trucks, I'm going to, again, as I said before, I'm going to put a link down in the description below so you can get more information on that as well. All right, folks, and that is it for this week's four-wheel drive talk edition. Now we're going to shift gears. As I shared with you last week, our giveaway had ended. This week, we're going to talk about the winners of our last giveaway. So Paul Murphy, you won the Max Toolkit from Forest Tool Company, which is a badass. You're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. Uh, Chad Wilson, you win three Mountain House meals. Uh, Jacob Henry, you win the $100 Amazon. Amazon gift card. Now, if you were one of the lucky winners, big congratulations to you. Be sure to check the uh, giveaway details in the description below so you know how or what you need to do to claim your prize. Now, as usual, we're ready to get things fired up for our next giveaway. So friends, here are the prizes for this next month coming up here. We have a Peak Design 35 liter duffel bag. We have three Peak Refuel meals. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So, hell, get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Four Wheel Drive Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site already and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win, but as I keep saying over and over again, swing it by, say hello, let us know what you're doing with your rig. Friend, that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on four-wheel drive talk or hell, how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below. Good luck. And friends, that is it for four-wheel drive talk this week. As always, it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. So if you're currently not subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? If you found some value with this video or hell, want to do us a solid, hit that like button. And last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video, <laughs> just like hell, the one that you just watched. Make sure you hit that bell. So therefore YouTube does its whole notification thing and sends you out a you'll notice when we come out with our next episode. And friends, that is it. Now officially, I'm going to be shutting off these cameras, getting on my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.